Thank you very much. Uh, our first guest tonight is the founder of an organization called Minnesota Skeptics. Famous pool player from the 60s, wasn't he, Paul? Uh, what, could this guy shoot pool? I mean, it was poetry oh, in motion. Whenever, Minnesota Skeptics. Whenever Skeptics would take... Yeah. The old chalk and the stick in his hand. Anyway, uh, he's here tonight with an assortment of medical devices that will at once amaze, entertain, and inform you. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the true essence of American television. <laughs> Please welcome Robert W. McCoy. Mr. McCoy. Hi, hey, Robert Aria. Good to have you here. We have, uh, we have a, lot of, a lot of stuff. And before we take a look at the items you've brought, tell us about the organization, the Minnesota Skeptics. Well, we're part of the Committee for the Scientific Investigation of Claims of the Paranormal, a group of about 50 groups throughout the world. You debunk claims and, and well, stories about... Uh, about things like UFOs, mm -hmm. astrology... Quackery. Out of, quackery, yeah. out-of-body experiences, and so forth. So we've collected a lot of things from the Bakken Library in Minneapolis, some of these from my own collection, from the Federal Drug Administration, okay. things that have been seized. But this is our and, premier and, and thing And all here. of this stuff, uh, these are all at one time thought to be medical instruments. Oh, yes. They yeah. were widely believed and followed and had a lot of people who spent mm. a lot of time inventing and developing and making money on them. Believed in by the mainstream, you think? Well, that's hard to tell. Okay. Phrenology certainly was. All right, let's uh, take a look. This is the first item here? Yes, this was invented by a man in Superior, Wisconsin, who spent his life building 44 of them. Mm -hmm. The company lasted about three years in the late 30s, or early 20s mm -hmm. and early 30s, mm -hmm. and uh, folded. And they've been sitting in a warehouse for some 50 years. We have about 16 of them left. We this is what, this. The, the precursor to the helicopter? Uh, well, <laughs> it looks that way. <laughs> We do this at a place in Minneapolis called River Place, entertaining people. I have eight phrenologists at work for me. Fr phrenology is, of course. It's the science of studying character by the bumps on your head. Uh -huh. That Com was... Uh, complete, in, uh, completely bogus, right? Yes. Uh, completely, that uh, was invented by a Viennese physician in 1798 when mm -hmm. he mapped out the brain. He knew that the temple was the source of your musical talent because you used to see pictures of Mozart composing mm -hmm. music in the 1790s, leaning on his piano with his knuckle against here. So he wrote that down. That's uh, time and mm -hmm. tune. He knew that the area above the head was acquisitiveness because two pickpockets of his acquaintance had large bumps there. So, it so was, all of it is pretty much random association then? Well, it was what you and I would call anecdotal information. Anecdotal. You had one example of each thing. And in the old days, they used, to, they used to measure people's head manually and write things down. But a man in Wisconsin, Henry Lavery and Frank White this, in this Minneapolis. This with the machine. Is there, oh, yes. This is very scientific. Is Sit right it? down here. Mm -hmm. This is the back. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, thank you very uh, much. Well, <laughs> Jeez, what, I a, was, what a helpful uh, piece of information. I was studying your staff today, and they all sat on it sideways. That's why I mentioned to you that that's the okay. back. Now, look straight. This will tickle when it comes down. Right. Now, there, there's, actually, no, there's no current or anything passing through here. Well, yes, there is. There's oh, six, there is. There's six well. volts. <laughs> six volts are going to go right through my skull? Yes. All right. But it's like a... <laughs> Now, look straight ahead. I... Well, you've got to keep your head straight like that. All right. Well, I'm a, I'm a little edgy. Okay. <laughs> You won't feel anything. Yeah. Now, we sent that on your nose. I'm telling you, I didn't kill the hitchhiker. I didn't kill the hitchhiker. It's too late. Now, in 30 seconds, this is going to measure your head. If I do die, there's going to be a class action suit. You folks promise me that? Well, we... <laughs> Thank you. Now, this is actually measuring your head and rating your character one through five. Yeah. One being deficient, five being superior. I see. Are we done? We no, it's still running. Oh, Just sit tight. Uh, it, can it do anything about the part in my hair? Well, uh, <laughs> we can give it a Marcel wave if you'd like. Oh, oh Marcel wave. All right, just, just get me out of here. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, I enjoyed that. Now, I, uh, I, feel, I feel refreshed. This is all about One you. Minute. All about me. Let's see. Various things here. Uh, human nature, good. You have a good amount of uh, intuition, but occasionally you make mistakes in judging the character and motives of others. Is that true? Well, it's certainly true in this case, okay. isn't it? Well, let me show you some other things. <laughs> this is a device called the blood rub. Some about the same era. It's mm -hmm. something that makes hair grow. Uh -huh. And you put it, put and it on you your head? put this on your head. <laughs> uh, stand around here. <laughs> wow. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And uh, this... Uh, <laughs> Could you, could you leave that in the office for a couple of days? Because well, if you'd like to, certainly. Now, this is uh, from the 1880s. Now, that, that did again nothing, right? Uh, well, it does massage the head, mm -hmm. but it doesn't make hair grow. <laughs> okay. 
This is a famous electric belt. Ah, uh, the electric belt. This is. Uh, Remember seven... the old days? You had to put them on by hand and do that to injure. Well, look. I have an old. I have an old manually operated belt here. Look at. I'm exhausted after I do that. <laughs> well, no more thanks to this beauty here. Uh, and... This uh, is able to restore manhood. <laughs> uh, it has a copper plate in the back. <laughs> Electric belt. <laughs> it has um, brass in the front and lead, uh, and you put this on with some chemicals that tend to uh, <laughs> cause blisters and make you think something's happening. Uh -huh. And this suppensatory here hangs down in your genital area and provides, <laughs> provides negative electricity if you have a weak member. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to put this on. Weak but, uh, member. This is a little right, more. I tell, I tell you what, we're going to do a commercial and then uh, we'll be right back. Right. We have plenty more of this stuff. We'll, we'll be right back. Thank you, Paul. We're back here with uh, Robert McCoy. You live up in Minnesota, huh? Yes. Yeah, what part? In Minneapolis. Oh, Minneapolis is a great city. Well, thank you. Yeah. yeah. What else have you got here? Well, this is an ultraviolet light generator mm -hmm. from the Bakken Library in Minneapolis. And what this does, it generates ultraviolet light to cure dander. We, uh, wow, it generates a little electricity yeah. here. Yes, it does uh, generate electricity. Put you your hand it? there. Can you feel that? Oh, yeah, just barely. Yeah, you can feel it. Yeah. You see how it uh, yeah. works? Well, this would go in your hair. Ah, to, uh, woo! <laughs> hey, hey, hold it. Wait a minute. That's great. That wakes hey, up in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But uh, again, that has no uh, real. Could that do harm? Could any of these well, things you actually could get harm? Well, shock from it if you yeah. were standing in water, I mm -hmm. guess. But now, um, <laughs> these are diet. I suppose all that's cleared up with the instructions, right? Yes. Yeah. These are uh, seized items from the FDA. These are a pair of glasses that make you lose weight. Mm -hmm. You look through them. Wear them an hour in the morning, an hour in the evening. Don't drive your car while they're on. They have a secret European process to coat the lens to make you lose weight. Uh -huh. and, and how would that work? I mean, even making something up, how would they think that well, that would work? Maybe you'd throw up after you'd eat or something. I don't know, but I can't find how they work. So they were seized by the FDA as a complete fraud. Uh -huh. Now, here's something. This seized? Is, you make it sound like they busted in someplace oh, they, with well, machine they, guns. They, uh, All right, give up those glasses. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's just about the strangest, because this has no, even if we're a stretch of the imagination, well, no connection. Uh, but they sold a lot of them. You know, I feel a little thinner, though. <laughs> and I, I'm not as hungry as I usually am. <laughs> Maybe you Season. discovered the secret. Elliot Ness busted in. And... This is a cool paint to put on your head. This acts as a heat sink if your brain gets cold. This is from the... Uh... <laughs> Or if your brain gets hot, that's from well, the 1880s. Is, if your brain gets hot or cold? Yes. If your brain, brain gets hot, it gets too hot. that uh, acts as a heat sink, takes the uh, heat out of your brain uh -huh. if you have a headache or neuralgia, something like that. Yeah. You know, in these energy conscious times, about what temperature should we keep our brain? <laughs> <laughs> Now, here's a device that uh, will send either negative or positive electricity to your <laughs> ear to cure various things. I'll just touch this to your ear, you and will. Uh, you will feel here. Uh, <laughs> now, now, wait a minute. What am uh, I going to feel? Let me, let me see it before you touch it up there. Actually, nothing well, happens. That's right here. Push it against there. And that's it? But that's the dial jumps up, and that uh -huh. makes you think something's happening. All right. And again, this would be for If you have problems with your ear, lungs, uh, if you have a problem with your kidney, we push it over there. And we can change it to negative electricity if you have problems with your, with your uh, feet. Yeah. Now, now, how recently was this, uh, well, this stuff was, being sold? This was uh, something the FDA took off the market about seven or eight years ago. No kidding. So yes. that's fairly recent, this is isn't it? This is contemporary. See, they only began yeah, seizing about one elements. Minute here, uh, oh, well, this is the most fun. This is a breast enlarging device. Uh, we had the belt for the men, and this was for the ladies. It's something you had a foot pedal here. You worked on this and put your finger over here and pumped on it, and it did uh, cause your breasts to uh, grow slightly uh, <laughs> if you kept doing it for a very long time. Yeah. I'll also cause your head to implode, I would uh, guess. I would think it would, too. <laughs> uh, this is a recent seizure also. These are illegal to sell these now, things. Is this the kind of thing that might have been sold out of the back of a magazine, a mail order yes. kind of a deal? Yes. Yeah, yeah. They were uh, good theater, but that's about it. Yeah, and you, ha you have a, a whole collection of this? A stuff? modest number of these things. Yeah. Uh, we keep them at River Place and other places to entertain people and have fun with. The Bakken Library 
is set up just to collect these sorts of things, and the FDA has a large amount of things they've seized. Yeah, great. Well, listen, I appreciate you bringing this stuff down here. You're but welcome. we do want to keep this for a couple of weeks, this one right here. <laughs> nice to meet you, Robert. Thank you very much. We're we going to pause for station identification.